Hello and welcome back. And on this videotape, we're going to talk about implicit differentiation. Now, we're going to talk about a few rules here. And when we deal with implicit differentiation, we want to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. Now, make sure that the derivative of any term involving y includes the factor dy over dx. That's very, very important. Make sure that derivative of any term involving y includes the factor dy over dx. And then, number two, solve the resulting equation for dy over dx in terms of x and y. Let's look at a problem. Find dy over dx given the equation y to the third minus y plus 2x to the third power minus x is equal to 8. So that's y cubed minus y plus 2x cubed minus x is equal to 8. Now, what we've done is that we've, we're going to take the derivative of each term. Look there. So when we do that, get a good shot of that, because we're going to break this all the way down. And when we're doing this, we want to definitely put in our d derivative, uh, derivative with respect to, to x next to each term, because we want to basically iron the fact that that's what we're actually doing, showing the people that, right? So now, when we take the derivative now, remember, this term involves y, doesn't it? When you take the derivative, it's going to be 3y squared with dy dx beside it because that states that, you know, this has to be a factor of that because of this term is involving y in it. Okay, minus, again, this, when you take the derivative of, of y, it's going to be, or 1y, it's going to be negative 1 in this case. And since that's involving the term y, then it's also going to be minus 1 dy dx. Plus, of course, this doesn't involve the term y, so it's just going to be 6x squared minus 1 is equal to 0, with the derivative of a constant being 0. So, with that in mind, you're going to factor out the dy over dx right here, because what we did was we moved the negative 1 to the other side of the equation, because actually what's getting ready to happen is we're getting ready to solve for dy dx. I isolate that variable and to, to get our solution. So in that process, we already got one negative one uh, moved to the other side of the equation to be positive one. So now we're going to start isolating. So we're going to take negative six. We're going to take a negative six x squared to both sides of this equation. And so when we do that, we're going to have one minus six x squared on this side of the equation. But over here, we're going to have 3y squared minus 1 dy over dx. So when we do, we going to take this and rewrite this and put this up here. So look at this very closely. We're going, to, we're going to solve for dy dx here. And so what we can do is actually divide 3y squared minus 1 to both sides right, of the equation. And then we'll have, we have dy over dx isolated, so that's going to equal to 1 minus 6x squared divided by 3y squared minus 1. That is your solution for that problem. Let's do another one. As you can see here, we have another problem here. It says find dy over dx given that x and y is given by the equation here and that when x to 1 and y is equal to 2. So basically what we're going to have to do is still what we have to solve by using the implicit differentiation. Right? So what we'll do is we want to take this here and we want to take the derivative of x squared times y to the third plus the derivative of 6x squared is equal to the derivative of y plus the derivative with respect to x of 12. So Here's what's going to happen. With this, we are going to have to use this thing called the product rule. Remember that? Remember 
that we, we talked about this in class. And so when we use the product rule, remember the basic expression, the function f times g prime plus g times f prime. So when we do that, we're going to take this and we're going to say, okay, this is going to be f and this is going to be g, basically, right? This is going to be f and this is going to be g. So we're actually going to take the derivative of g first. So we're going to pull out x squared times the derivative of y cubed. And then plus on this side, we're going to pull out g now. And then we're going to take the derivative of what? The function f right here in this case. Plus, so we still have the derivative of 6x squared and is equal to, we have everything set up ready to, to go. However, let's go ahead to the second line and find the derivative of the terms. So here, this is going to be x squared times 3y squared dy over dx because this here involves the variable y. So we want to use this factor dy over dx plus y cubed times 2x plus the derivative of a 6x squared is going to be 12x is equal to what? The derivative of a y right here, which is 1 dy plus the derivative of a constant is 0. So here, putting everything together, simplifying everything, and basically preparing to plug in or say substitute these values in for x and y here. So here's our expression here. And so from there, we're going to plug in x and, y, uh, x and y into the appropriate parts of the equation. When we do that, we're going to come up with 12 dy over dx plus 16 plus 12 is equal to what? dy over dx. So now we still have to solve for dy over dx. So what do we do? So in this case, since we have this expression, 12 dy over dx plus 16 plus 12 is equal to dy over dx. Here we have 12 dy dx plus 16 plus 12 is 28 is equal to what? dy over dx. So what we do right here, we definitely can solve comfortably for dy over dx. And then how we do that? We're going to take negative 12 dy dx to both sides. So when we take this to both sides, we're left with here on this side of the equation, 28 is equal to negative 11 dy over dx. So now we can divide by what? Or multiply 1 over negative 11 and multiply this to both sides of the equation. Here we have dy over dx is equal to what? Negative 28 over 11. So that is our solution for that particular problem. Let's do one more here. We want to find dy dx given the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Right now, we didn't really mention it too much earlier, but you know dy over dx is still considered, can also be understood as y prime as well. In some textbooks they have, instead of dy over dx, they have y prime, and that's okay. So what we want to do is take the derivative of each of these terms right here as you see, as understood right here. And so when we do that, that's going to be 2x plus 2y dy over dx. You know why? For this, because any term that's involving y, we want to use dy over dx with it. Equals the derivative of a constant is what? Zero. So I wrote here in this little box right here, you can write, you can write this way. That is 2x plus 2y, right, times y prime, which is equal to what? dy dx, you see this, is equal to zero. So you can write it this way if you want to. And actually solving the equation, you can still have to solve for dy dx, so you'll be solving for y prime. But that's understood as that. Okay, now we're going to solve for what dy over dx. So when we do that, we're going to take negative 2x to both sides. And when we take negative six, uh, 2x to both sides, here we have 2y dy dx is equal to negative 2x. So now we're going to multiply by 1 over 2y to both sides. And when we do that, we end up with this expression here, dy over dx is equal to negative x over y because they, you know, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So this makes it negative x 
over y, or you can say like this, dy dx being equal to what? y prime, you can, say, you can write it this way as well. y prime is equal to negative x divided by y. So this concludes our video on implicit differentiation.